a million dollar question. Um, it's very difficult to answer. Um, but, I, but I think it's very important that you, you know, Ukraine being a sovereign country, uh, the, the attack and the invasion being unprovoked and illegal, mm. uh, where you know, we should all be bound by the UN Charter. Uh, and so that's why I keep repeating that r this Russian aggression can never be rewarded, which means Russia cannot win the war, because that you're giving Putin exactly, uh, exactly that. We, so that cannot happen. What what the end state could be or should be, uh, I, I think it's not it's not up to us to decide. I think it's up to Ukraine. Uh, it's up to the president of Ukraine. It's up to the Ukrainian people. Uh, at some point, if they could could accept some some situation. Uh, which is not exactly uh, what it was before. I mean, for the Netherlands and many other countries, we never, uh, uh, we never acknowledged the annexation of Crimea. Right. Uh, same goes for, for the Donbass, where the war was already going on before the invasion. So it's, it's a very difficult question, but in the end, I think it's for Ukraine to answer. Liberty is one of the core values the Ukrainian people are fighting so hard for today. And it's a fight that frightens Putin. He fears liberty. He fears democracy. Since the fall of the Berlin Wall and since the end of the USSR, he has developed a ruthless obsession to travel back in time, as far back as the Russian Empire. While most Europeans look forward drawing lessons from history for a more secure and more prosperous future, Putin looks back to the past. He's tsar struck by Peter the Great. I came here with an ambitious message. The Netherlands, a country that has liberty in every fiber of its being, is strengthening its defense. And not only that, we're working together with allies and partners to become stronger together. First, by helping Ukraine to win this war. Admiring their fierce resistance is not enough. We have to help them because Ukraine can prevail with our help. Russia must not win this war. And the stakes are high for the whole world. 